Um, yeah, so in the class, uh, Magic, Witch Witchcraft, and Religion, we talk a lot about how there's different kinds of witchcraft. There's witchcraft as practice, so practicing uh, witches might call themselves Wicca or witches, um, pagan. And then there's witchcraft as accusation. And what usually happens there is something bad happens. And then the people in that area believe that witchcraft was the cause. And so they often look for a culprit or a scapegoat to blame that bad misfortune on. Witchcraft as practice in the United States and in England is really based on nature and looking for patterns in the natural world. And then um, using those patterns with the principles of magic to kind of um, put things in your favor, so to set up what you want to have happen. So using colors, certain colors or certain images or certain smells um, that you know could bring about good fortune. But at the same time there might be depictions of witches doing kind of negative things or evil things that could um, overshadow or color, miscolor what they're actually doing. But at the same time, um, those popular shows have made witches popular. And then when we learn about witchcraft in class and, and talk about what witches actually do in modern society, um, people find it's actually very familiar, like manifesting or are things that people do on TikTok or, you know, Instagram. <laughs> a lot of us use magic in our everyday lives, but we just don't call it magic. I think that's one of the, the biggest misconceptions is that, um, that it's something so foreign and so different. Also, it's some, um, a misconception is some, it's something that only happens far away from here or a long time ago, but people are doing it now and they're doing it all over the world.